Hi everyone, Sandy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a video uh, to show you how to create the basic lay flat album cover as designed by Tamara of Country Craft Creations. This is the way that I create a cover for my tutorials for my albums. Uh, I will be referring to this video from now on in my tutorials so that I'm not repeating myself in each tutorial video, especially for those of you who already know how to do this method and have watched it many times. However, if you need a refresher course or if you're a beginner, you can always refer to this video on how to make the cover. And I will give the specific, the uh, measurements for the cover that I am making so that you can take those measurements and then follow this video to create. So well, this is one size, but you can do this in any size and the method of creating it is the same. So what you do need, you will need for a basic cover, this is one without a closure flap. If I have to do a closure flap, I will show that in this specific tutorial, but each cover will have two uh, larger pieces of uh, heavyweight chipboard cut, one for the front, one for the back, and then one for the spine. And again, I will give you the measurements for the specific tutorial that you can come and cut what you need and use the same method. So you need three pieces of heavyweight chipboard, two, one that's the cover and one that's the back and one that is spine. And then you will need the corresponding cardstock to go with those. So that means you need two larger pieces of cardstock. I do use the artisan cardstock because it is the best when it comes to wrapping. If you want to wrap with pattern paper, I suggest use a heavyweight paper and know that that pattern paper will not crack when it folds. If you're using Country Craft Creations exclusive pattern papers, the Cotton Bristol, they should uh, wrap beautifully without any problems. So you're going to need two pieces for your larger chipboard, which will be one inch bigger all the way around. So whatever your measurement wide, you add two inches. The height, you add two inches. Cut your cardstock. But again, I will be giving you the measure, measurements for your specific uh, album cover for whatever tutorial you're following of mine. And then this, on the spine, you will need a piece that is one inch longer on the top and the bottom, but one and a half side to side. So we have those cut. You're also going to need a piece of cardstock for the inside which I will also give in the tutorial. This will be the width to cover the spine area with plus an extra inch on each side and the height of your album. Now I have gone ahead and cut my score tape sheets that I'm going to use. Uh, sometimes I use glue in a tutorial, but uh, if you have these, this will make your cover papers much smoother. You won't have any lines showing through your paper or any warp of any kind. So I suggest if you have problems with that, that you use the score tape sheets, or you can use solid score tape strips. Um, these are cut to the exact size of your chipboard. So I have two, one for the front, one for the back chipboard pieces, and one for the spine. And then you will need one that's cut to the size of this inside spine support piece. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the Country Craft Creation Spacer Guides. You can order these from countrycraftcreations.com online. These are 12 inches by one inch, and this one is 12 inch by one and a half. So you need one of the wider one and two of the uh, one inch ones. This is what comes in a set when you order them. If you do not have these, you can make your own out of your scraps of chipboard. You're going to want them 12 inches by one. You want two of those and a one and a half inch by 12. So what I do, First of all, let's put some score tape sheets on here. We have this, and like I said, I pre-cut mine to fit, not the paper here, we need the chipboard. So I've cut my chipboard to the size I need for the album I'm working on, and I'm just gonna peel this backing off. This is cut to size as well, and then I'm going to just place it on here straight as I possibly can and get it on nice and flat and then I'm going to burnish that so that it's easier to peel off back on but I have all my pieces prepped and if you have yours ready to go then we're ready to start wrapping our cover pieces so take your largest one of your largest cardstock pieces 
and we're going to use the one inch spacers i'm putting here on my score pal mat and so you put one at the top and one here on the left side so you grab a chipboard piece that you've already added your score tape on we're just going to peel this backing off like that and we're going to place this right in here now you'll notice my card my chipboard has a white back and this is just a different chipboard it is the heavyweight chipboard so i know that you can't see it but it is attached to the card stock kind of a gray color and then i just burnish it on both sides make sure it's nice and smooth so that is one and then you take the other cover piece same thing both one inch spacers grab your chipboard piece peel that backing off attach it down put it up all the way to the guides this gives you that one inch space all the way around your chipboard Okay, we have that one done. Now we need the piece for the cut for your spine. And you peel your backing off. And you're going to put a one inch at the top. Should have already done this first. And then a one and a half on the side. And then you're going to butt this down right there. So that gives you one and a half inch wings on each side for your attachment of your covers and then one inch at the top so those are wrapped and i've already put square tape on my spine support uh, cardstock piece that will go on the inside so set that aside so we can put the mat up and our spacer guides and we're ready to wrap for each cover piece i'm going to go ahead and fold my cardstock and burnish to get that line there on the corners and you're going to do this on all four sides so you make sure you've pulled it over enough and burnished like this i'm going to get that straight line there and you do all four sides Just make sure you're getting that right up against the chipboard. So let's go ahead and do the um, second cover piece. So same thing. I just pull that cardstock over and burnish it so that it's right up against the chipboard. You can even use your bone folder to help push it that way. And then make sure you're burnishing the part that doesn't overlap here on the ends you want to get those lines marked because we're going to be cutting those out so make sure I've done it all directions so once I have that now I'm ready to cut these corners out so I'm going to cut right along that fold line that we made right up to the tip of the chipboard so you're going to do that on this one I did not fold over. So I thought I had it finished. Here we go. See, it's real important that we get that that line so we can see where we we're cutting. To cut those corners out. If you want to do the angle, I I do the angle also. I guess you could say it depends on what mood I'm in. But both methods work. It's just a personal preference. This is the way that it's done by Tamara of Country Craft Creations. Several of the designers have done these separate cover, lay flat cover uh, tutorial videos so that they can refer to them in their project videos so that they're not repeating themselves so much on the tutorials. It saves a little time on the tutorial for you to watch. 
and of course it's always available for you to review or if you decide to start making albums in a size that you want to do versus totally following our tutorials. I've been meaning to do this because it's a really a great idea to have this um, basic tutorial video to follow. You can also follow the one done by Tamara. I think it's called the Lay Flat Mini Album Cover. So we have those ready. Now let's go ahead and prep this one also. So this one we fold at the top. And we do the same thing. We're going to, and I like to burnish right up against that edge there because this particular one, we're not going to fold over these sides, but I'm going to go ahead and burnish them and burnish up against the edge of the chipboard. So this folds here. It's just to get our fold line nice right up against. Okay, now we take this and we're going to simply we'll go ahead and do this one. We're going to simply cover this ends on both ends. This wings do not attach down yet. So what I like to do is I like to burnish it really well so I can see. And then I take my glue on this. I put a little line of glue right along the chipboard on each side and then around the along the end and then of course on the flap it's going to fold over so you fold it and then we're going to burnish it we want to make sure you wipe off any excess glue but we're going to make sure it's sticking down really good and it is burnished well enough that it is flush against that edge of that chipboard. You want it really flat in there, okay? So that's how it looks on that side. We're going to turn it around and do the same again. Put a little bit of glue here on the sides of the chipboard in the fold, along the end, and then on our flap piece. And then we're going to fold it, burnish it, it in nice and flat and flush right in there so really work it in this is artisan cardstock so don't be afraid to really burnish this cardstock so that's how it looks now i'm going to take and run a line with the rounded part of my bone folder right along the edge of my chipboard and then i'm going to turn this over and i can see where that fold line is i'm going to burnish right along the side of that chipboard on the finished side here to get me a placement groove and a fold for my cover. See how we have that indention that drop there? Let me see if I can. There we go. And do the other side as well. I'm using the rounded part of my bone folder to really burnish that groove there. So now we have these two wings and we have the chip with it slightly raised. Turn it so you can see it. This is for the spine. Now let's get back to our covers. To help me hold these down, now you can use glue or you can use score tape. I am going to use um, score tape of some glue and some score tape. This is optional. I just kind of like to use this to help me Hold it down while the glue dries. So I put just a short strip of score tape right in the center of each flap. Like that. This is optional, of course. You don't have to do that. You can do your whole flap in score tape if you want. I'm going to do this on both sides here. Here. And then on both cover pieces. So let's burnish those so that the backings come off easily. Okay, once you have your score tape pieces on, we do need to miter our flaps. So like here, I'm going to 
follow down one long one. Here at the top, I'll put my scissor right up against the chipboard so I can't go any closer, and I just trim a little bit off. Then I flip it over so I'm doing the other end. Okay, so we do that on all of these. I'm doing both long ones first. Flip it over, put your scissors to the base of the chipboard, right up against the chipboard, and just do a slight miter. Then to uh, miter the long ones, then you're going to fold a short flap down and do the same thing. Just uh, do it with the unfinished in here, and then flip it over and do it on the finished side for the other one so that you can actually um, get to your um, flaps to the chipboard. So let's see here. This one's already done. Sure, here. Just double checking. This one is needs angled a little bit. And then this one is done. Okay, so I think I've got them all done. So now we're ready to wrap this one. So take, uh, let's go ahead and pull all the tape backings off first. And again, the tape backings, the tape is optional. Then I take on the long side, I put a line of glue right along the chipboard onto the cardstock, glue on my flap, pull that over, pull it over, burnish this down. A nice edge here. For the other long side. Pull that over and burnish so you want it stuck down good. Oops. And again on the short ends. And if you mattered them right, there should be nothing sticking over on the edges there. and burnish. So now we have both covers wrapped and we're ready to take our spine piece that we've already prepped and we're going to lay it with it facing up the finished side. This is this is the side where it's folded over. This is the finished side here. I'm going to take these and make sure they fit pretty good right there. And I'm going to take glue and I'm just going to put it about a quarter of an inch from the edge of the or the valley there. You don't want it right up against it because it will ooze out and then it will look ugly. Okay, so I put glue there and I'm going to take one cover and I'm going to Slide it so that it drops down into that valley, and I'm going to line it up at the top and the bottom, and I'm going to burnish that. Flip it over so I can burnish the wing. Okay, turn it back. We'll do the other one the exact same way. We put a little bit of glue, about a quarter of an inch, just a line of glue away from the valley, then glue on the wing. Right here, let's pull this cover, finish side up, pull it so that it drops down into that valley and lines up right there. Okay, and burnish. Flip it over, burnish the wing on the inside. Okay, now we have it like that. And we're ready for this piece to fit right in here. This secures this inner part. So I'm going to pull the backing off of my score tape sheet. And then we're going to fit this 
it is the length of the album cover. So you want to center it over the spine, drop it down, and up at the top. And then we're going to burnish that. Now then I'm going to gently fold up and then I'm going to burnish with the rounded part of my bone folder right in that fold. We're going to do it on both sides. So fold it up and burnish into that fold. It's kind of training that cardstock and pressing that uh, score tape sheet down into that fold give it some support so now you gently close this up and you have your album cover ready for your patterned paper so that is how to make a basic lay flat album cover using cameras of country craft creations lay flat album cover method and this will be the basic way to construct one my different tutorials when I'm using this cover type and I will refer to this video so that you can follow along and um, create yours and I will also in the tutorial video not this video give you the size of your cover pieces and your spine okay thanks so much for watching bye bye